The following is a presentation of TFNN. The TFNN Bull Bear Trading Hour. Every trading day, live at 10 a.m. Eastern. Call now, toll free at 877-927-6648 or internationally at 727-873-7618. The TFNN Bull Bear Trading Hour. Now, Tom and Tommy O'Brien. Welcome, folks. Appreciate you growling and prowling with us out here. We have the Dow Industrials down E50, NASDAQ off 243, S&P's off 77. Gold, gold contract down $35, trading at 16.16 an ounce. You get silver down 21 cents, $14.46 an ounce. Light sweet crude off a of buck 10, $21.47 a barrel, notes and bonds. You get the 10 year right now up 18 ticks, trading 138.09. The 30 year up a full point plus two ticks at 179.06. And King Dollar, King Dollar down, uh, King Dollar up 119 ticks, trading 99.469. Euro is at one. Where are you, Euro? Euro is 109, yen is at 108.29, and the British pound is at uh, 122 to 1 US dollar. Tom O'Brien, what's going on? Good Friday morning. How are we doing? Good Friday morning. Here, well, let me show you how we're doing, folks, okay? Because uh, this here, okay, let's start with the S&P. Now, the S&P, folks, the future. I think we need your chart there, Tom, if you get a chance. Oh, that would be nice. Yeah, wouldn't that be nice? Let's that would help. That there up. we go. Perfect. Let's, see. <laughs> let's put that chart up there. Okay, so where am I going here? I'm going to the S&P. Okay, let me show you something here, folks. We can you pull that blue line off the bottom, too, so we can get a we full get a, screen? We get, a, we get a complex ABC structure, folks, on the way up here. Now, this is pretty cool. This is on a 10-minute chart. So your S&P... Uh, Right now, this is the E-minis. Your, your E-minis right now are trading at 25.30. Let me show you something here because this is really cool, man. This is, if you're a bull, this is like the best thing that could happen uh, out here today if this thing comes out right. So you get a pullback. What we did out here yesterday with these 10-minute charts, okay, is that you took out the B point and you took it out with a huge conviction, folks, okay? We, we took that out at uh, 10 minutes of 4 in the afternoon. Now, what ends up happening with a complex ABC structure up or down is that you go to higher price, you break it with volume, you pull back underneath the B point. As you pull back underneath the B point, you're pulling back with light volume, which we've done. The price projection here is 2733. So it's going to be cool watching this thing shake out, man, because that's, there's no doubt that's a big number. That's 200 S&P points higher than we are right now. Uh, so bottom line, I want to show you out there first. We'll see what happens out here in the next couple of days. But that's a confirmed ABC structure on the way up. And what I was talking about is the aspect of where we are. What you'd love to see is this. What I'd love to see is that you, we went higher yesterday. The volume dropped off a little, which would make sense because you get three days up. I'd want lighter volume today because what ended up happening, you're going against yesterday. You get lighter volume today. Bottom line, I just showed you the ABC structure up in the S&Ps. And then you very well could have a larger one. That's an intraday one. You could have, have very well have a larger one. So it's going to be a wild one, man. That's the real no, bottom that, line. That's for sure, man. The last three days, remarkable run, right? I mean, if you had bought the the limit down on the future Sunday night, man, you're talking about 21% in the S&Ps to that high we got last night. And then just like that, 100 points off the high. I know you said the ABC is 200 points um, above where we're at. Well, we were just 100 points higher as of 7, 7 p.m. last night in the S&P. So right. that, that that might happen quicker than we all think. And, and what might happen quicker, now this would be really bizarre, folks. But as of this morning, you had the Dow Industrials in a new bull market, you know. <laughs> the, how do you classify the Dow uh, Industrials? That were twenty percent off their lows. <laughs> okay, <laughs> that's. I mean, I know this bizarre man. This this will go down in the in the history books if this ever comes that comes out. I mean, it's back underneath it slightly right now. Sure. But the reality, if that's ever it, folks, that I don't even know how to write that book. I mean, <laughs> no, they're they're on. I mean, yesterday was a historic day, man. As I was doing the eight thirty jobs number, man, we had never had a jobless claims number above seven hundred thousand, and we watched a jobless claims number come in at almost three point three million. I mean, it's going to be in the history books. Don't don't. Don't forget it. Yesterday, you know, we're in historic times here, man, for sure. No doubt. Now, we've been talking about the correlation inside the dollar and the S&P, and I'll show it to you. It, it's, this is on. And pay attention to this, folks, okay? Because the dollar index, okay, bottom line is that, uh, let me 
put this together for you. Let me see. So I'm going to compare that with the S&P. And what you're going to see is that ESM is that there's a direct correlation. It's been going on. This is like about the fifth day that it's going on. As the dollar gets weaker, you can see how even, even this morning, okay, the dollar got a little tiny pop this morning. We got up to, uh, what, 99, 813. It yes. starts giving it up. As it starts giving it up, that S&P starts going higher. ASAP, man. I, I love it when you get correlations that go like this, okay? Now, it won't stay there forever, folks, okay? But when you do get correlations like this in between the dollar and the S&P, it can stay there for quite some time. So it just gives you a little more of an edge. Uh, because you can look at the dollar on a longer-term basis. You can look at the S&P on a longer-term basis and trying to figure it out. And then I would go over to the bonds because the bonds, you know, the bottom line with the bonds is that they have gone higher and the volume is contracting dramatically, man. So the bonds are telling me, man, this consolidation is on, number one, and we'll see uh, if it's more than that. You know, the, we're going up today. You got 511,000 contracts traded. I mean, the, if you're going to go higher inside the bond market, you need, like, 1.5 million, 2 million contracts on the way up. And, you know, we don't have it. That, that's the real bottom line. Now, what we didn't have is that when we did come down on the bonds, you didn't have volume on the way down also. So that's saying that right now you're in a consolidation. The vote, it's going to be, uh, I mean, Pelosi is still saying that uh, this thing is going to shake out today. You know, okay. so, so they, ha they have, what, what they have, folks, they have everyone flying back uh, to... Washington to, to take the vote, uh, and that is a um, that's a backup. That's what this actually is to make sure that uh, if they don't have evidently uh, enough voice votes, right? They they physically. It's have one to. representative, man. We right. can get into it, but it's a Republican from Kentucky, Massey. Right. Right. So that guy should get called out, and his picture should be everywhere. And hopefully, he's not in Congress after this, man, because endangering the members of Congress just for a political um, message to literally have members of Congress trying to book flights, jump on flights last second just because uh, he wants to make a political statement at this time is repulsive. I, I don't normally get too strong, but that's. Yeah. Uh, you know that guy Massey, and he you know. and he makes them on a continual basis, folks. If you go, to, if, you, if you if you Google them, after, when I heard you on this morning, Tommy, I, I Googled it and I got the Wikipedia page. If you see the Wikipedia page, he's claiming that he's a uh, Republican libertarian. Um, so. Yeah, you can claim anything you want, man. Right. You know, <laughs> there's there's no doubt. There's, yeah. there's there's no doubt, man. So. Our phone number is 877-927-6648. Let's go take a look at that gold contract. Uh, no doubt volatility in spades. Uh, that being said, guess what, man? You're, you're backing down. Let's see what we're backing down into. This is We're backing down with 63,000 contracts. I think it's into 400,000. Yeah, 419,000. So bottom line, that you have built, that's building cause, folks, for higher price. You know, we'll see if they can get any more juice on the way down, but that certainly is not enough juice to uh, basically break the uptrend uh, inside of that gold market. Dow, Dow Industrials right now uh, are down 765. You get the NASDAQ off 239. S&Ps are off 69. Stay right there, folks. Tommy and I are coming right back. Notes and bonds, you get the 10-year up 15 ticks, 30 up 25, and good old King Dollar. King Dollar's giving it up, folks. Uh, almost flat out here right now. If you're not currently using the Taz Profile Scanner when looking at setting up your trading opportunities, then your arsenal is short a mighty weapon. The Taz Profile Scanner is a standalone piece of software that instantly filters over 2,500 global financial markets such as stocks, ETFs, commodity futures, and Forex. Headed by Steve Dahl, Taz understands that in today's technological world, the use of top-flight software applications and technical analysis expertise is essential to successful trading in today's market. You also gain access to the webinar that Steve Dahl and Tom O'Brien just hosted, The Best Way to Use the Taz Profile Scanner to Profit. This webinar archive is available for all subscribers immediately upon signing up. All new subscriptions also come with a 30-day money-back guarantee, so you have nothing to risk. Start your subscription by visiting the front page of TFNN.com today and you'll find the Task Profile Scanner under the Services tab. Sign up today. 
Are you in the market for buying or selling real estate in the Bay Area, including the surrounding St. Petersburg, Tampa, and Clearwater markets? Tiger Real Estate LLC is a firm that has extensive experience in the Tampa Bay Area. Whether you're looking to sell your current property for maximum value, or you're in the market for a second home or investment property, Tiger Realty has the experience across all areas of real estate in the Tampa Bay Area to help buyers and sellers make the most informed decisions across all price levels. From the price you should be paying per square foot in certain up-and-coming areas to the type of cash flow investment properties are capable of creating, Tiger Real Estate can help you make the best decision when it comes to all areas of the market. Before you make one of the biggest decisions of your financial future, call Tiger Real Estate LLC today at 727-329-8322 or email us at tiger at tfnn.com. That's 727-329-8322. Call us today. TFNN is launching an open house for our Tiger's Den. For a limited time, you can get a 30-day free trial to the Tiger's Den. Just enter promo code OPEN at checkout and pay nothing for 30 days while you try out your Tiger's Den membership as part of our open house. With market volatility at an all-time high and people all over the world working from home if possible, TFNN is hosting an open house in our Tiger's Den. The Tiger's Den is an interactive chat room that runs all day where other tigers and tigresses discuss trading ideas with the hosts and members along with charts and current market news as well as live access to the charts the hosts use during their programs join us for the tiger's den open house begin your den membership today by just entering open at checkout and pay nothing while you try things out for 30 days for all the details and to start your den membership today visit the front page of tfnn.com don't miss out on the tfnn tiger's den open house taking place now sign up today Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-873-7618. Welcome back, folks. Uh, Dow. Dow Industrials uh, down uh, 870. You get the NASDAQ off 268. S&Ps are off to 82. And then when you w watch the market out here today, folks, so when you want to be watching uh, in a big, big way here, you want to see what type of volume do we get in this pullback. If we take a look at Boeing, what you're going to see, Boeing had come off that bottom in a big way, came off 89 bucks, gets all the way up to this uh, 186. Boeing right now, you know, you're, you're pulling back 19 bucks, but man, you're going back into 77 million shares. So, uh, if you see a rejection with lighter price on Boeing, that is another probable uh, deal that you're going to go topside. I would take more than one equity, though. You, you take about a dozen equities as you're looking at them and see if they're all reacting the same way. Apple, you could take a look at Apple next. Light volume here, nine, $9.70, man. You don't have sellers. You know, you're at 10 million right now. It's like, okay, you're going into 75 million. You take Microsoft as you. You know, coming across this market, that is a, a real sweet way that you can get a handle uh, on the amount of selling uh, very quickly. You know, uh, I would say uh, two more hours, you, you're going to get a decent handle on that. Uh, you know, we're only uh, 45 minutes into it right now, so it doesn't mean it can't expand. But, you know, 1230, uh, you know, you'll, you'll get a decent handle on how many sellers are out there. So, ride them, cowboy, Tom. Right. That's that's for sure, man. Uh, I was saying in the update, I was saying in the morning market kickoff, uh, the one thing, man, we, we have a two way market, man. That's for sure. Yes. Volatility. And this is going to be around for a while. Um, oh, yeah. There's, there's no doubt. Don't it, think that you're out of the woods. You get a 20 percent pop and, and we're out of the woods because um, what happens on next week's number, man? I was saying, you know, there are a lot of people probably that are just dealing with this. Maybe they didn't get in line for weekly jobless claims. Maybe the phones were overloaded, right? Maybe the website wasn't able to work correctly. Um, maybe they were just too busy making sure their kids were taken care of the oh, moment yeah. they or whatever it is. So there might be a backlog. There might be there's just going to be stark, stark, startling numbers across the board, let alone just the numbers of, of death and what's coming out of New York, and hopefully that doesn't end up in a lot of big cities in the country, man. But as of right now, there's no data that says that that's not what's going to happen, unfortunately. And hopefully with all this social distancing, it does change the curve, flattens that curve. But, man, if that starts happening in big cities across the country, just uh, the, the, human, the human toll is, is devastating, let alone the economic.
There's no doubt. There's no doubt. Some of the higher volume equities out here, folks, when we're taking a look at this market, you have, <clears throat> excuse me, uh, you got Ford Motor Company off 20. Oh, they're, they're running the pot stocks again. Till, Tilray, I think, is up 100% in a couple days. You but, know, I just, got an, I just got a notification on my phone, uh, which is really funny from, uh, yeah, that, that they're, they're all up big. Yeah, so you get Tilray up at buck ninety one, trading at nine eighty one. They were almost out of business last week, folks. Okay. Yeah. Uh, Carnival's down two forty two. You get uh, Americans off a buck. You get Microsoft down six. Apple's down eight, nine rather. Uber's off a couple bucks. Uh, Royal Caribbean's down five sixty. Norwegian's down two twenty. Uh, Exxon Mobil. This is a big number, man. This 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 oil market is just devastating. Devastation. Uh, well, actually, it's not that bad, actually, you know, when, well, it's all relative. Uh, it was at $30 uh, four days ago, so we were at 36 you, you, you get up to uh, 39 you're backing down here. When we take a look at the oil contract, this is, this is pretty amazing. There's no, there's, actually, let, let's look at the gasoline contract, because, okay, gasoline, G-A-S. Gasoline active contract. This is like hard to comprehend. 52 cents, folks, for unleaded. That's where we're at. I mean, I know that sounds hard to comprehend because uh, the, the bottom line is that what we haven't had yet is that you have it, you've had a drop at the pumps, but not like you actually should. <laughs> Do you know what I'm saying? It's like, sure, this sure, is right. like, it hasn't correlated quite yet. I, I've definitely never seen a drop from, from $1.77 to, well, I guess, Percentage-wise, let's see, have we seen that much of a drop? No, percentage-wise, I haven't seen that much of a drop either, man. A dollar eighty. We were, we were trading a dollar eighty, folks, on February twentieth. So you get what? Twenty-eight trading days later, you're you're at fifty-two point five zero. Now let me see this XB. I'm going to put this XB on a generic chart, and I'm just curious where this low on the wholesale price of unleaded gas is. I'll go back 30 years. Because I don't even remember this low at 2008. Nope, it wasn't. It blew by everything. 2008 low was 78 cents. Look at that. So Remarkable, I'm going to bring yeah. this back. Oh my God. This is like, I'll bring it back 50 years. Because the only time we've ever seen this type of a disruption in our lives has, has actually been war. Um, right. And there's a lot of demand in areas like maybe fuel or, or oh, yeah. Boeing or, you know, de um, defense stocks and stuff like that, that. That just does not exist in this type of a, of a turmoil market right, right. now. So in this contract, I, you know, I, I just brought it back generically, folks. This, generically, this only goes back to 2005. And it's never been there. It probably was there in like 19... 89 or 1990 when oil was ten dollars a barrel when the oil itself was ten dollars a barrel but that's hey i want to pull up real quick i saw a cool statistic i'm hoping it shows okay in the den but what it has to do with is uh you know the age of social social distancing right you had the president sending letter to governors yesterday about maybe going county by county and this image is just stark man so what it does is uh this is just a, a a twitter account that that i found through another twitter account okay but they're talking about using cell phone data to kind of just demonstrate what can happen and this is we all saw the images man whether it was clearwater beach floor Fort Lauderdale Beach spring break, right? Yeah. So what they did is they take, and this is anonymous cell phone data, but they take where people were. And so this is A1A, man, we're looking at right yeah. here, right? This is Clearwater Beach, all right? So all they do is they narrow it down, they circle this beach, they take everybody's cell phone that's here, okay? Yeah. And then they say, and where do these cell phones go? Where where Ooh. do these people After on that, one right? beach? After What's that? that? After that, where do they go? After, after that, right? Okay. So you see the beach, all right? All you do is you say, my goodness, what if there are a few people on Fort Lauderdale Beach a couple weeks ago running around? Which they're okay? going to be, right? Which Infected. they're going to be, yeah. all right? And uh, I'm just going to jump through, folks, to see where this goes. Look at the map. Wow. Remarkable. We live in at a time where we are so connected, we don't even realize it, man. That was Fort Lauderdale Beach. And look at how they span basically the entire half of the country um, from the entire eastern seaboard up through Michigan, the, the mid-east of the country. Yeah. Let, uh, remarkable, man. You know, so so keep this stuff in mind when you hear 
people talk about, you know, maybe we're out of the woods. Maybe we can go county by county and control things, man. Use your head as I, I, you know, I, you're usually good at getting a little political at times, man, but I can only get, get pushed around myself so far, man. And, and when lives are at stake, when you say county by county, we're going to be cool. We're going to be open by Easter Sunday. The level of ignorance that that's taken, man, when you see maps like this, one county, you know, um, it's this This was startling to me. I saw it this morning. I said, we got to bring that up, man. Just remarkable. Yeah, that that is wild, man. I, I suspect we're going to see a lot more of those maps because those maps are accurate also, which is pretty yeah. cool. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. yeah. Dow, Dow Industrials right now down 840. Seven Nasdaq's off 256. S&P's are off about 79. Stay right there, folks. Come right back. Folks, Tom O'Brien here. If you'd like to get my daily newsletter, Market Insights, then now is a great time to sign up for a 30-day free trial. Every morning by 9.30, I send out my morning letter to subscribers with market commentary on a variety of markets, currencies, and commodities to keep investors up to date on the day's trading action. Included in Market Insights are specific buy and sell recommendations for stocks, ETFs, and even options, with stops and price targets included for every trade in my newsletter. If you'd like to try my newsletter risk-free for 30 days, then head over to the front page of TFNN and you'll find market insights under trading newsletters. I use my years of trading experience to bisect and dissect the market every morning and give my subscribers the most important information they need to know for the day ahead. I even issue afternoon updates for my subscribers whenever warranted with important market action. I'm always scouring the market for the next great trading opportunity. Sign up for your 30-day free trial to my daily newsletter, Market Insights, today by visiting the front page of TFNN.com. Wow! Go get them, folks! If you're a trader in the market looking to find the path that leads to maximizing profits while decreasing risk, then now is a great time to try out Dave White's daily trading service, The Path of Least Resistance. Through the use of options and equity trades, Dave advises his subscribers on a daily basis of the current market conditions and what possible trade setups are on the horizon. The Path of Least Resistance is published every trading morning, often with updates intraday when initiating trades or closing out positions. Dave White has advised his clients of some outstanding winning options and equity trades in recent months, and now is a great time to try it out for yourself. New subscribers to the Path of Least Resistance receive a 30-day money-back guarantee. See for yourself the types of options and equity trades that are available by signing up for the Path of Least Resistance today by visiting the front page of TFNN.com and selecting the newsletter tab. Sign up today. TFNN is excited about our new software charting program, The Art of Timing the Trade Charts. In collaboration with Tom O'Brien and using his best-selling book, The Art of Timing the Trade, Your Ultimate Trading Mastery System, David White has programmed an outstanding piece of software that will complement any trader's methodology. Using this first-of-its-kind program, The Art of Timing the Trade Charts allows you to scan thousands of stocks for Fibonacci formation setups, including Gartley's, ABC's, Butterflies, and much more. The Art of Timing the Trade Charts is designed to help you when scouring the markets for stocks just beginning to form the trading patterns that many investors spend days, weeks, or even months searching to find. And right now, we're offering licenses available at only $79 a month. We are so confident that you're going to love this new charting software that will even give you a 30-day unconditional money-back guarantee. Don't miss out on this incredible new piece of software. Get your copy of The Art of Timing the Trade Charts today by visiting TFNN.com. This segment is brought to you by Think or Swim. For more information, just click the Think or Swim banner on the front page of TFNN.com. Welcome back, folks. Uh, Dow. Dow Industrial's down to 880. Nasdaq off 270. S&P's off 85. And let's just get over and uh, see what we have uh, even still volume-wise out here. Okay, so, yeah, you're, you're just bouncing along here, man. This market is just waiting to see, uh, you know, basically how long it's going to take uh, the congressmen and women to get back to D.C. and how this is going to lay out. My understanding right now is that... Uh, 
they actually started already. I, I think it's a procedural deal. They they started okay. three hours of basically talking there because what happens procedurally, because that one Massey won't go along with it, there has to be certain steps that are taken along the way before the vote actually comes. So they actually, it looks to me like, uh, let's see, that they already started it. Uh, okay. So it says... You got, of course, all the, I don't blame them. These congressmen and women are going out of their mind having to jump on planes. There's no doubt yeah. about that. And putting, what, you know, so, so supposedly, you know, you, you got yourself a libertarian here, but the, what, what does happen, so all of us have to know, just them getting on the planes coming back and then leaving again, they're figuring uh, just the flights, uh, well, it's cheap money, actually, 200 grand, but even so, that's... No, it's hundreds of thousands of dollars taxpayer money spent, not to mention the risk for, for literally a, a political stunt from a Republican in Kentucky, man. It's yeah. a bummer. And what's going to happen is that uh, evidently, so you get 435 members of Congress, but they only can let 30 members on the floor at the same time. Okay. So this is going to be a, a while. You know, I, I suspect as we're going through this, you'll, you'll keep getting more updates uh, out here today. And as the... Uh, you know, a couple of the other congressmen were saying, they said, okay, well, what are you, what are you going to say? We know it's going to go through. <laughs> the bottom yeah. line is that you're not going to stop it. One person can't stop it. <laughs> you know. And, you know, the scary thing, is, uh, of, along with just the deaths and stuff, is how contagious this could be. I heard something yesterday that was remarkable, right? So, like, the flu, and these are all general things that vary year to year, right? They call it the r not. Have you heard this number, Tom? How I, many people you spread it to, right? Uh, okay. So, let's say the flu has an r not of 1.3. That means, basically, if you get the flu, you're going to spread it to 1.3 people before you're done with it, okay? So yeah. that means it's gonna be growing though. A any number above one is growing, sure, right? Because right. you're spreading it as you're getting it to more people. Um, they, they, the, the COVID virus, obviously we don't have hard data yet, but let's just say it's at three. People are talking about it's anywhere from like one to six, okay? But if it's at three, the, the, the exponential function of how things work here, and that's where you're seeing these curves, if you go 10, 10 passes down the line, okay? So, and which is which is gonna happen, right? In terms of like, by the 10th person that you pass it to, how many people have you actually infected, okay? Now, you're basically what you're doing is you it's an exponential function, right? So if you have it, you pass it to three. Those three pass it to three, that's nine. They pass it to three, that's 27. If you get 10 people down the line, you're talking about potentially 40,000 to 50,000 people if it has an R naught of three because of the way exponential functions work. If you're in an R naught of 1.3, you're only talking about 16 people. Staggering numbers, man, to keep in mind for the social distancing. When I heard that, I love math, right? It's good but you went to hard. school, I was just gonna say. <laughs> it's, it's hard to understand, and I, I did it myself, though, man. Do, do you know, um, the exponential function right. of, you know, one, two, you know, or three to the 10th power, man, it, it, it becomes huge numbers as opposed to 1.3 to the 10th power. Um, huge numbers. So just really be aware when you say, ah, it's like this, it's like that. When you're dealing with something that's much more deadly, when you're dealing with something that's much more infectious, I don't think people understand the ramifications. That's why that graph of how quickly one beach worthy um, worth of, of spring breakers travels the country, you know, or something like that. So we just got to really stay on top of this, man. And the rhetoric coming out of Washington, unfortunately, is confusing at best. No doubt. Let's go to our man, John in Philly. What's going on, brother? Good morning, Tom and Tommy. Thanks for taking the call. How you doing, Good man? Good morning, John. Uh, Tom, I'm doing very well, thank you. Tom, I wanted to ask you um, just a very specific question, uh, just by way of background. It was back uh, a week ago Thursday, so back on the 19th of March. I ceased altogether any shorting whatsoever of the index futures and subsequently have been either flat or, you know, long. Uh, my question to you, Tom, with that background in mind, and that's going to continue that way. If it declines uh, a bunch from here, I'm not going to be participating uh, going lower. I'll uh, be uh, uh, standing aside, watching it drop, and looking for buy points. So my question is, uh, we've got the June E-mini S&Ps currently at 2519. Yep. I'm wondering if you could pull up... 
not only your 10-minute bar chart, which I, I follow your uh, descriptions of whenever you put that up on Tiger TV, Tom, but uh, perhaps the one-hour bar chart going back, uh, you know, uh, back to Monday. And um, if you could just share what jumps out as uh, jumps out to you as support points that if we fall to, you'd be looking real closely at, please. So on the, I just put it on a 60. So you get 25.38, the top of that bar, and the, the bottom of that bar is 24.50, though. So you don't want to see it get into that bar too deep, man. You know? That's, that's a deep bar. My take is that we're not going there. My, I, I, I love how this market is set up right now. This is like, to me, this is like a pretty sweet setup because what we've done, you know, like I said earlier, John, is that we blew away this B point on ABC up. You pull back... When we pull back, if you take a look at this S&P, like the biggest bar that we have was uh, 10 minutes after the open. That bar there had all of, uh, what, 6,200 contracts traded, and you're going into 8,200. You're going into the uh, bar at 9.30 tomorrow morning, which is beautiful, man. So. Yeah, I'm sorry to interrupt. Uh, I'm just watching there on Tiger TV as you pull up your hourly bar chart. Uh, and... As you had done so, uh, that hourly bar with the uh, low of that high volume rally bar yesterday at down at 2450. Here's my question. If we happen to slide um, in the next hours uh, or even into Monday, yep. if we happen to slide but, uh, and go to the bottom of that high volume rally bar down at that 2450, would you be looking? You know, right at twenty four fifty to potentially place a buy, risking very little if it got down that far. Oh yeah, man. I, listen, I'm a buyer. I'm a you know, yeah. I'm a. I think you know, I'm, I'm a bull man. Yeah. I mean, I was a bear forever, but coming off this bottom, I I, I like how this market's trading, and it's it's so weird. Let me tell you something, and it's so much fun <laughs> being a bull. <laughs> it's it's just it's just, it's a different animal. I mean, folks, I, I trade both sides of it, but the bottom line is that, you know. I just don't see any more sellers, man. I just don't see it. And I, and I know the fear is out there, and, you know, the combination of it is, is all in place. So right, it, it right, is what it right, is. Right, exactly. You know? I mean, right. I think that what all of us should understand, too, I, I can, you know, is that I basically trust the markets more than I trust, you know, just about anything out there. So this is telling me that, guess what, this thing's going to, you know, yeah, it's, it's serious business, but it's going to pass, you know, because the markets... Well, I just, I like paying attention to the markets. Let's put it that way. Do you know what I mean? So. Thanks so much. I appreciate it. Okay, man. Have a great one. Have a safe one. Stay right there, folks. Tommy and I are coming right back. Dow. Dow Industrials right now. We are. Where are we? Let's see. Down uh, 930 at NASDAQ off 280. S &P if you're in the CD 90. market and looking for a secure investment, the Tiger First Mortgage Program may work for you. The security for these first mortgages are building lots in the Tax Opportunity Zone in St. Petersburg, Florida. The Tax Act of 2018 set up tax-free zones across the country where you can build and hold for 10 years and pay no tax on the profits, which makes these lots valuable. The investment is anywhere from $30,000 to $75,000. The interest paid is 7% yearly paid on a monthly basis. According to Bankrate.com, the best rate for a four-year CD in the country as of February 20th is 3.1%. A $50,000 investment at a normal four-year CD rate of 3.1% would give you income of $1,550 per year or $6,200 over the four-year period. That same $50,000 investment in the Tiger First Mortgage Program would give you $3,500 per year or $14,000 over the four years. Which would you prefer, $6,200 or $14,000 of interest on your investment? If you would like more information about the Tiger First Mortgage Program, you can call me at 877-518-9190. That's 877-518-9190. If you haven't checked out the newsletters page of TFNN.com, what are you waiting for? All of the TFNN newsletters are informative, up-to-date, affordable, and a must-have for every trader looking to gain a competitive informational edge in today's markets. TFNN newsletters cover every aspect of the markets to offer you the very latest in market news. Plus, new subscribers get to test drive our newsletters risk-free for 30 days. From all aspects of the markets, including stocks, bonds, metals, commodities, and tech, there's a newsletter to fit your needs exclusively from TFNN. Stay informed each day you trade and get that competitive edge that will help you stay ahead of the game. Visit our newsletters page by going to TFNN.com 
and click the newsletters button near the top of the page. TFNN.com, educating investors. Biotech is booming, but for how long? Whether you think the biotech bull has room to run or has run its course, trade LABU or LABD. Direction's daily S&P Biotech three times bull and bear ETFs. Visit directioninvestments.com slash biotech today. An investor should consider the investment objectives, risks, charges, and expenses of the Direction shares carefully before investing. The prospectus and summary prospectus contain this and other information about Direction shares. To obtain a prospectus or summary prospectus, please contact Direction shares at 866-476-7523. The prospectus or summary prospectus should be read carefully before investing. An investment in the funds is subject to risk, including the possible loss of principal. The funds are designed to be utilized only by sophisticated investors, such as traders and active investors. Distributor Foresight Fund Services, LLC. Don't forget, you can listen to TFNN live on your mobile device 24 hours per day. Go to TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. That's TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV for the latest market information. Welcome back, folks. Uh, Dow. Dow down uh, 872. The Nasdaq's off 264. S&Ps are off 79. And uh, that oil contract. Okay, so let's go get over this oil contract and take a look. I I'm going to put a continuous contract up first, folks, okay? Because this is, uh, this is something else, man. I mean, you have another bar out here. You know, we have, a, we have a low in this contract. Well, this is a generic contract, $19.46. Um, we're down a buck 42 right now. Let me see. So first I'll bring it back 30 years. Let's see where we're going with this thing. <clears throat> it's thinking, man. <laughs> right? It's <laughs> a lot of you. data in that okay. oil market. Wow, look at this. So folks, okay, if you're watching Tiger TV, oh, this is just a rip apart of lows. Hold it, this is serious business, man. Holy cow. I mean, we just, we are at, my God. Yeah, it does, I mean. <laughs> yeah, it's basically where oil was trading at in the 90s, bouncing yeah. around a bit, but right there. Yeah, I'm, let me bring it back 50 years. This is. And I think we're, we're within a dollar, I think. Think I don't know if it shows up on that in terms of what the low is. I had on my Think or Swim that shows up. The low only shown is 2052. Maybe that. So that either way, was, within about a dollar of the recent lows. Right. No, that, that's right. What happens when I bring up the generic contract, folks, is that it's it's a tied together of contracts. So sure, it, it, it kind of recalibrates them all together. Yeah, it does. Look at this. So when you bring this back, yeah, I mean, you can, 1985, man. Uh, the high of the 85 was $26. The low was 10 I remember that so well because that's when I had the offices up in Alaska. 975 okay. retest of 12 bucks. So that was, oh, my God. Look, look at this. So in, in May of 86, no, March of 86, you went from $26, folks, down to $10.30. So let's yeah. just call it. Isn't that wild, man? That is, man. Huge moves. Huge moves. Oh. Can you go to the, what, what's the margin um, that yes. you're dealing with? I mean, so from the time I did my program at 830, we're only talking about two hours. You're down another dollar. You were at 22 and change. You're at 21 and change now. Um, this market just moving quick, man. Yeah. So it's 6,160 okay. per contract. And one point is when a buck is a thousand bucks. Okay. You know, so that's, that's a pretty large Number they right they now. got that in queue, man. Now, what's remarkable, right, is that as a speculator, you're putting up almost 30 percent for the price of oil. Exactly. <laughs> and that's appropriate because oil is moving some days 30 percent potentially, man, over a day or two. Um, huge moves, man. No, no doubt. Yeah. Let's go to uh, Jonathan in New York. Hey, Jonathan, what's going on? How you doing? Good morning. How you doing, man? Morning, Jonathan. 
It's going pretty good, pretty good. Um, I'm watching you all right now, and, you know, to tell you the truth, I have no background, no knowledge of stocks or mutual funds, ETFs, or anything like that. But I'm seeing what's going on in the news, and I'm interested in getting into the market. You know, I've saved up about $1,000, and I want to jump into something. But I don't know what tools to have. I just opened my bank account yesterday. I haven't, I haven't opened a brokerage account. And I just wanted to get some guidance from you all because you all are seasoned. Okay, so this is a, this is a great question, folks, okay? I, I, you know, I tell everyone this, okay? Anyone, and everyone, buy the SPY, the SPY, and forget it. So this, what the SPY is, the, the SPY is the S&P 500, largest, at, you know, companies capitalized in the United States. And your fee structure, the, the key here over the course of time, Jonathan, okay, has to do with the amount of fees that you get charged to be in the marketplace. And the SPY has one of the smallest expense ratios out there. And when I say okay. forget it, you know, bottom line, over a long-term period, what you're doing there is that you're, you're basically have 500 different stocks that basically are the largest cap stocks in the world. Um, and, you know, you, you, you're not with fees. You're not going to be in front of your computer 8,000 times a day, um, you know. And, and the fee in there, Tom, just tell them, right, it's one, less than one-tenth of one percent. Exactly. Exactly. For for the privilege, you could say, of being in their ETF, for being diversified, right? You have 500 stocks. You're equally diversified. You're paying a very, very small fee. Um, and if you're a long-term investor, man, if you can put that money in and, you know, forget about it forever until you need it in retirement, if that's years down the road. But if you can even put it in and forget about it for two to three years right now, um, I imagine that's a great investment, man, off of uh, where we were just in February. Right. In fact, one of the Tigers in the Tigers Den just told me this. Now, this is even a better deal. This is the same S&P 500, but this is the Vanguard Fund. And what happens, instead of a 0.95 of 1%, the expense ratio is 0 0.30. So it's VOO. It's, this, it's the same ETF. And point, oh, just a 0 0.030. Right, right. Not 0.30, yeah, 0.030. An ETF, an ETF yeah. is a, a culmination of a bunch of equities that are into one equity. So what happens is that you have the holdings have all, you know, they own a little bit of each. Like, so the VVO inside, let's just say we start with 100, right? And you say, okay, what's inside 100? Well, 5% is Microsoft. 4.6% is Apple, 3.1% is Amazon, 1.8% is Facebook, 3.2% uh, is Google, 1.5% is Berkshire Hathaway. One, so you, you end up owning all those equities, John, uh, Jonathan. That's how it works. Okay. Yeah. Hey, listen, okay. how did you find us? Um, I was just looking, you know, for uh, stocks, stocks trading news on um on YouTube, Good. and the channel came up. So I actually, you know, I started watching the channel, and I saw, you know, TFN.com. I saw the website, so I just got onto the website. I haven't taken a look at anything that you have there yet, but, Good. you know, it got me very interested. Well, the, the, I can tell you this. Okay, so you get a couple different things happening. You're going to hear out there, uh, you know, basically people saying, oh, I made a fortune, I'm trading this, and I'm trading that, and I'm trading this. Guess what? Take it with a grain of salt, because yeah. on a long-term basis, let me tell you something. Everyone wants to day trade. Most day traders lose all their money, okay? You've got to get this straight in your head at the very beginning, because the, the, I've just done this for too long. You want to make money, buy the SPY, forget it, learn the market, though. You want to learn the market. That's, that's a different aspect of, you know, what we're saying. There's, there's two different things, and, you know... Can I ask you, yeah, Jonathan, that thousand dollars? What to learn is the that... market? Like, for instance, I see you have your screen there, and you have all of the information on what's going on in the market. Is there something that I should invest in? There are there certain companies that I should look at um, to to use as platforms for you know yeah. trading or getting involved in the market? I, I'm tr I'm trying to push you away from day trading. That's what I'm trying to do. Go ahead, Tommy. You I had see. a question for him. Well, I was going to say, where is your, so that $1,000, Jonathan, is that money that is going to be for your retirement that you don't need for 10, 20 years, or is that money that is trading capital for risk that, that where? No, that's, that's money that I'm not going to need. 
Yeah, then no. just, you know, you eliminate the risk, you get diversified, man, it's the SPY or the VOO, and, uh, and then as you get more comfortable, maybe the next time you have some savings, you can be a little bit more risk and pick some equities, but that SPY, you can't go wrong right now in the long term, I think. Got you, got well, you. Welcome to the Tiger family, Jonathan. Thanks for the call, Thank Jonathan. You. Call back, man. Thank you Thank for you. having me. I appreciate it always. Absolutely. Okay, man. It's the most common trait that we tigers and tigresses share. If you're looking to become the best of the best when it comes to managing your money, let me teach you to do what most wealth managers tell you can't be done, which is how to time the markets. I'm Steve Rhodes, author of Mastering Probability, and for the last 12 months, Timer Digest has been tracking my newsletter signals, which have earned me the ranking as their number one market timer in the nation for the S&P 500 for the last 12, 6, and 3 months. Timer Digest also ranks me as the number one market timer timer for gold as well. The fact is, markets can be timed, and I'll teach you the exact set of tools that I use that has transformed me into one of the best at what I do. Sign up for Mastering Probability today by clicking on the newsletter tab on the homepage of TFNN.com and get immediate access to workshops where I take you step-by-step -step how to use an extraordinary set of tools as well as provide great market calls too. Sign up today. The gold market has taken off topside in a large way in 2020. If you want to take advantage of this sector, now is the time to subscribe to my gold report. The gold report took profits in four of its equities in the gold portfolio in the first week of January for a combined profit of 99.2%, with two positions left in the portfolio that have a profit of 67.5% as of January 7th. The Gold Report is a comprehensive look at the metal sector as well as the markets that move gold, which is the currency and bond markets. New subscribers get a 30-day money-back guarantee, so you have nothing to lose. Every Monday morning, I publish the Gold Report with coverage of gold, silver, bonds, the XAU, HUI, GDX, as well as more than 30 different mining equities. To see for yourself the types of profitable trades that are recommended within the Gold Report, sign up now by visiting TFNN.com. Don't miss out on the next great gold trade. Sign up today. With markets trading with extreme volatility and peaks and troughs everywhere, regardless of what you're looking at in the markets, this is a great time to see the type of analysis Basil Chapman delivers for his subscribers every market day with the opening call newsletter. Basil has been analyzing markets, providing his take for subscribers to his trading services since 1984. Every morning, Basil publishes an update for his subscribers, along with weekend and evening updates when warranted. The opening call provides traders a daily market overview with regard to the direction of the key indices, selective stocks, and commodities, along with specific recommendations, including stops and targets. You also gain instant access to Basil's subscriber webinar archive from earlier this year, a dark cloud cover, and essential market analysis. Ride the Chapman wave today by signing up for the opening call newsletter on the front page of TFNN.com under the newsletter tab. New subscribers get a 30-day money-back guarantee so you have nothing to risk. Sign up today. This segment is brought to you by Think or Swim. For more information, just click the Think or Swim banner on the front page of TFNN.com. Welcome back, folks. Uh, Dow. Dow is down 860. Nasdaq's off 268. S&P's off uh, 80. Uh, latest update, uh, according to Bloomberg, at 1035, man, is that uh, they're still looking that this House bill is going to get over to uh, Trump today. And unlike past cases, there will not be a time delay um, to basically uh, get the president to sign this. So well, that's good news, man. And I think the market probably is is not to say over that hump, right? But it's priced in with almost near certainty that that's gonna get passed. Um, and it just could be, I mean, we were just up 20% since Monday night, Tuesday. Um, if you're a trader, man, you could be taking some profits. That's why this is not that bad of a deal um, with the run that we just had, considering we were at, was it 2174 in the S&Ps? We're still above 2500. If you had said at that, you know, at the start of the week, Sunday, futures limit down, right, Tom? Yes. If we were coming into Friday morning above 2500 in the S&Ps, above 21,700 in the Dow, we were almost going to get a 17,000 handle in the Dow. Remarkable. So It is. Yeah. You know, yeah. And 
if this does get signed, though, before the market closes, you'll see an expansion because the, the market, I, yeah. you know, it's not done till it's done. And I agree. I would agree with everything with that too. Said. I, I mean, would. the bottom line is that yeah, it's going to go. But guess what, folks? They it wants to be signed because what does happen? This is going to get back to the man and women on the street. The bottom line is that that money's got to get there as fast as yeah. possible. You know, it's easy saying, you know, if you have a few bucks that, OK, a few more days makes a difference. It's not if, in fact, you're, you're basically scrambling, saying, OK, you know, where am I going to get money for this? Where am I going to get money for that? We yeah. get uh, what uh, is the, the rents that are due, you know, on the first. Right. Uh, pretty not well. everyone has access to, to right. credit cards and right. stuff like that, right. man. If you need that money now, you know, for sure. All right. Stay right there, folks. We got uh, Think of Swim coming up next. And I'm Mr. Basil Chapman, Steve Rhodes, Dave White. I'll be back this afternoon. Thanks, pal. Thanks, man. Go get them, folks.